Right off the mat, uh, Kennedy Monday. He can't get you. You fend off a good attack in the first, and then battle him. Hand fight hard. Get off the bottom. Um, get him called for stalling. You pushed him around a lot. And uh, hey, you're in for third and fourth now. You get an automatic bid to the to, to NCAs in Minneapolis. Uh, first off, what was the game plan going in for you guys? Um, not much of a game plan at all, actually. So. Again, I've been banged up for the most of the, uh, for most of the season, so it's definitely not something I'm not used to per se. But again, I just wanted to wrestle. Um, obviously, didn't fire off as much attacks as I was hoping to. Uh, he's a long, lanky kid, so I knew he would be shooting a lot from the open. So I had to be cautious of that, and you know, respect his abilities from the open. So again, more or less, my game plan going in was just just find a way. I saw him doing a little bit of limping. Did you see any of that yourself? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's obvious that he may not be in the best uh, condition health wise, but. Again, it's the ACC tournament. I'm only put, uh, focused and fixated on what it is I can control. So props for going out there and competing. But again, uh, I went out there expecting to win, hoping to win, and I did everything I needed to. Who was your loss to earlier? Uh, McFadden. So you lost to McFadden. That was actually a pretty close match too. Yeah, um, it was really close. It was 0-0 actually going into the third. Um, didn't do that great of a job getting out on bottom. So something I made a little bit of adjustment for this match, just getting to my feet. But yeah. Lost him twice this year out of my seven or eight matches on the season, a couple of her, uh, a couple of which are to him. So hopefully I see him again down the road, maybe at Nationals, but yeah, he's a great competitor. Did you, you know, I don't know if anybody had you as one of the four qualifiers coming out of the ACC, right? You Were you the sixth seed? Yeah, I was, yeah. You were the sixth seed, so you're the, you're the sixth best guy in the league. <laughs> so you essentially, you steal a spot. You earned a spot, but at the same time, you steal a spot. What's it feel like knowing that maybe you took somebody else's spot, but you earned that? Yeah, to be honest, I expected myself to win. Um, like I said earlier, I've had a uh, pretty difficult season in regards to my health. So I've only had a couple matches, haven't got to uh, you know, go through the ring or you know, get that form of battle testing that a lot of these guys has. So coming in in only a few matches, it definitely took a lot, especially from that mental approach to walk out there, believe in yourself, especially when you have ta high level talented guys in a weight class. So like I said, I mean, I, I expected myself to win the bracket. Fell, uh, fell short of that, so now I'm looking to do the next best thing, which is third. And you look at your two opponents, you know what I mean? If I'd have told you this on Friday, hey, you're gonna make the national tournament, you're gonna and you're gonna be you're gonna have to beat either you're gonna either have to beat McFadden or Monday. You probably were pretty confident on Friday, Saturday, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I I truly believe I can beat anybody in this bracket, anybody in the country. So uh, I, I'm really looking forward to finally get to showcase my skills and uh, ability at nationals this year. Do you think Garland was jacked? He's jacked all the time, but do you think he was really jacked? Yeah, yeah. Um, we've been having a good round. Uh, again, we're, our number one goal is just getting guys into this next week, or two weeks. So, yeah, we're really excited to have a couple guys going, locking some automatic bids. So, yeah, there's no reason for him not to be excited. Are you excited to wrestle in a ginormous football stadium? Yeah, I'm really interested to see how that turns out. But if uh, you've been to Fargo before, you've done that. You go to Fargo? Never ever? been to Fargo. Never went to Fargo? Never okay, to Fargo. so... so but the fan experience is going to be in 40,000 people. Yeah, and it was an amazing crowd um, at the uh, Console Energy last year. I keep calling it Console Energy. PPG Paints yeah. here in Pittsburgh. Being from Pittsburgh, I call it uh, the console, the old name. But, uh, yeah, it was another great stage. But, again, uh, being at this level, having the experience we do have, we're used to big crowds. We're used to that pressure, the big spotlight. So, again, I'm just excited to get out there. I'm happy that after the season, um, obviously not being ideal health-wise and a couple other things, that I'm able to continue. All right. Congrats. I'll Thank see you, you in Minnesota. Great match. Appreciate it.